All right, let's try not. Oh wait, you got your hat on for the video. I got my hat. Okay. I mean, not that it's a big improvement, but. <laughs> Such a jerk. Should we leave this and one here, in too? Uh, we might as well. Might I as mean, well. it's, it's kind <laughs> of the. Uh, and now here's so, so something that I noticed. Look at what you did for my my name. You misspelled my name. I did it on purpose just you to did. make you mad. Are a jerk. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> anyway, we're going to talk about position versus time graphs today, guys. And uh, we've kind of dealt with these a little bit before in the past. You may have seen these in math class mm -hmm. as far as uh, using the coordinate plane to graph something. Yeah. So that should be somewhat familiar to us. So here we go. It's, it's not... It's not cooperating. It's not cooperating. Oh, there, we, there go. we go. Now it's cooperating. All right, so today we are going to use position versus time graphs to describe how an object moves mm -hmm. so that you can describe motion with graphs. You can okay. tell if it's going faster, slower, or if it's staying still. Uh -huh. Okay. And then um, how do we know we you got it is when you can explain uh, an object is moving when given its position versus time graph or the other way around. I can give you the graph and then you have to tell me what's going on. So so this is just really one more way that we can show how an object is moving. Yes. All right. Besides so, just a regular motion map. Right. We've done the motion map already. Now we're going to take that kind of that same information, put it into a, a, a graph. Sounds good. All right, so here's our first example. This is somewhat from your investigate that we were working on the previous mm -hmm. day. All right, so you should be familiar with how to do set these up. All okay. right. Hey, you know what, Mr. Conrad? Before no. before we dive into that. Okay. So I'm just I'm trying to think of well, if I was looking at just the data table, so just the data table, what are we? What do we have going on here? With our, if we just look at the data yeah. table, well, it looks, it looks like we're starting at zero. Uh -huh. So zero is our origin. Okay. Our origin isn't where we start at. Right. Our origin right. is what we're measuring from zero. So that's kind of our or frame of reference. Frame of reference. So okay. zero, zero. So we're starting at the origin on this one. I have the world's greatest penmanship. By you know the way. what? That's not bad. That's not great either. Uh, so, uh, but then if we take a look at one second, we know we are two meters uh -huh. away from our origin here. We are then four meters at two seconds, six meters away at three seconds, and then at five seconds we are ten meters away. Okay, so I'm looking at that, and it kind of it looks seems like every, as every second goes by, the position is changing the same amount. Yeah, each time it's going up. Two, right? Plus two, yeah. Okay, so so we could call that like uh, constant. That would okay. be our constant. Yep. There we go. So I think yeah. So it'll be interesting to see what this looks like on the graph because if we were doing this on a motion map, it would be evenly spaced. So if we did this on our motion map, we would have our dot here, and mm -hmm. we'd have an arrow. This is a whole beautiful arrows that we're drawing here. You're too. You're too. Tough on yourself. This I is, know. This I'll, is pretty good. I'll get over it eventually. I'll go home and cry myself to sleep tonight. <laughs> All right, so there's okay. our motion map. Which, nice. Those are horrible arrows. Moving on. Um, so now we should be able to do this. We've been working on that last week, you guys. Mm -hmm. So now we just need to take all this information that we have in our data table. We need to put it on this position versus time graph over here. Okay, so we're just going to plot our points. So just think of if we were in math class, uh -huh. this would be our x coordinates, yep. and these over here would be our, our y. y coordinates. Uh -huh. So now we're just going to plot those. So we have zero, zero. Okay, right? so at zero seconds, we're at the zero, zero meter position. Yep, okay. because as you can see, right over here, we have meters over here and seconds is down here. Okay. So at one second, we are going to be at two. Two. So Two meters. There two we meters. Go. And then at two seconds, we are at four meters. Uh -huh. And then three meters, we are at six. Uh -huh. Four, we are at eight. And then five, we are at ten. Ooh, so if you drew a line right through there. <laughs> Booyah! That looks, that looks pretty... Pretty straight. Constant. Constant. Oh, so there's a pattern there. There's a pattern there. So if you have a nice straight line like that, uh -huh. and it's just continuing on, that's going to be a constant... How do I know this is speed, though, Mr. Spencer? How did I know well, that? Well, okay, so here's think about your math class. Math class. Okay. This is think about about slope. Okay, so your slope of the line that's like rise. So rise is like up and down. And if we look at that, what is what are we meant? 
measuring on the y-axis. Well, that's meters, right? And then it's divided by, so rise divided by run. So run is side to side. And in this case, our run. So this would be our meters on meters top. And then divided seconds. Divided by seconds. OK, so meters per, per second, second. Which is our speed so that, or what's another word We could that? do velocity. And we'll talk more about that, okay. which where you've got this rate, how the meters change per unit of, of time. So I think that's one of those important things that they got to understand is that the slope of the line is it's going to show to us the, the, speed the speed or the velocity of the mm -hmm. object. And we'll get into that in a different right. video. All right, so let's take a look at the next one. OK. All right, this looks very similar. Hmm. OK, it does. It does. But what, I, but what I'm noticing here Ooh. is that, should we do the motion map first? Let's do the, move, let's do the motion okay. map. We should know how to do this. We have 0, 0. Uh -huh. Then we have 1. And then one, the next what, second is going to be? At 1 meter. Uh -huh. That's a little close. Two seconds, we're at 3 meters. So it's starting to, wait. I've already noticed something. This was only one away, uh -huh. but here this is plus oh. two, so it's not going to be our. It's constant. not constant because it's not they're not constant. the same. So we can't say this is a constant speed. Well, then it jumps what three? Three. So yeah. So there's that one. Then we go uh -huh. to ten. Oh. These are getting farther and farther away, Mr. Spencer. They are. So if you've got okay, so if you've got something where every second it's getting farther and farther. It's not going at a constant speed. I think that's kind of like speeding up. Yeah, very good. So this one we are speeding up. All right. So if we actually graph this out, so we're mm -hmm. at one one, then we go to two three. Mm -hmm. All right, and then we go to three, and then it was at six, and then we're yep. at four ten, ten, and then we're at five, five fifteen. 15. See? Oh. Uh oh. I can't draw a straight line through that. No. If I try and draw a straight line, it's going to look it's like that. Look that does not. We don't, we don't want that. We do not want that. So this one, you guys, if you're trying to graph this one, you got to kind of make it curve a little bit. So, so you're kind there of there. We go. So it kind of looks like a parabola, which is our U-shaped graph, uh -huh. which is x squared. Not that you need to remember that, but um, but that's not what what we're basing our graph off of. We're just going off the fact that this. Parabola is U-shaped, mm -hmm. so it's got a curve to it. So that's how we kind of have to draw that one. And and I think this makes sense because if you think back to what we did previously, where the um, where the slope of the line was telling us or was showing us the speed, well, if I look at that for each one of those seconds, the slope is getting steeper and steeper. That is true. So that would mean you're getting faster and faster as you as you go along. So what I drew here, guys, in the black line is what we did on the very first graph. So notice this mm -hmm. is a sh constant. It's a straight line. You can keep everything going in the same direction, and they're equidistant apart. They don't change like we did in our what I did in blue there. Mm -hmm. Okay? All so right. big difference there. So that's speeding up. Speeding up. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Shut the front door. <laughs> this will be a – so let's let's do our, our motion map. Got to do the motion map because I'm confused. Okay. Okay, so Not time really. equals zero. So time is zero. Is that, we are we're at, at the four, four meters. meters. Okay, so we're at four meters. Okay, and then after a second, we're, we're at time still four. at four meters. Okay, after and two seconds. Oh, so. So that's three seconds, four seconds. I ran so out of So as room. time marches on, we're still at In the, the same, same spot. We're just not moving. We're stuck. We're stuck. We're running on the trail, and we uh -huh. run into some mud, and then it's like that you just, deep you're mud, not and moving, you can't move. You try to move, and you're just stuck. So if we graph that, yep, yeah, time equals zero. We're at four meters. Time equals one. One, two, three, four, and five. Yeah. So now we just got to draw mm -hmm. our line saying, hey, we are not moving. We're just staying still. That's as good as it gets. We're stuck. You know what? I once had somebody who said, like I asked them, hey, if you've got this graph, what's happening? And they said, you're running along flat ground. But, and that, but do you see? Yeah, yeah. I can see that. See where, the, where they might that. make that misconception there? Because the line's just going straight across, right. so therefore they're moving straight across. But you got to remember, what does this say over here? This is a position, position. So in as, meters, yeah, so that means... Go. The distance is staying the uh -huh. same. You're not moving. You're just staying still. Mm -hmm. So I think another way to look at this is what's the slope of this line? Ah, the slope. So if we did our slope equation, well, if I go from here to here, my slope is zero, uh -huh. right? If we go from here to here, that is a plus zero. So mm -hmm. we put zero on top. 
And then if we go over here, this is a one. Well, what's one? Zero divided by one is zero. just zero. So I'm moving zero meters, meters per, per second. second. So yeah, so that means you're not going anywhere. So we're just stuck. Okay. So, okay, so now they know what it looks like when you're going at constant, constant speed. speed. They know what it looks like when you're uh, speeding up, and they also know what it looks like if you're not moving. Mm -hmm. So what's the next one? Let's take a look. Wait, this looks weird. It does look weird. Okay, let's try. Let's try to figure this let's just, out. How about let's do our motion map okay. to start. Motion right. map. I think this is a good. A good. We'll do something. So it's a good something. We're figuring it out still as we talk. All right, so we got zero at fifteen meters. Mm -hmm. Then we're at thirteen meters. So that's over here. Uh -huh. Then we're at eleven. Then we're at nine, nine and then we're at seven. seven, and then five. So if I was just looking at this, wait, I forgot something. Be, I was gonna say there's. There got to go. add the arrows because otherwise arrow. we don't. Oh, these are horrible. You know what? You're right. Those are bad. I apologize, everybody. I'm trying to do better. There we go. Those, so those, now we we'll know like, that we'll it's ignore going. those first two because those are bad. <laughs> so now we know that it's going in the negative. D it's displacement. going towards the origin. Towards the origin. Starts away from, from the, the origin, origin. Moves towards it. But it starts here. It starts at 15. Why is uh -huh. it 15 the origin? Well, that because once again, where you start and where our kind of like frame of reference are not necessarily uh, the same thing. So thank this you, is Mr. Spencer. all right. You know, all right. So that. now we need to actually let's graph these. So we're at uh -huh. zero fifteen. So we're up here. Uh huh. Then we're at one and thirteen. There you go. Two eleven. What's the next one? Three uh, nine. Three nine. Four, four seven, seven. And five five. We should have timed that out better. Where uh. Seven, we could have had seven eleven. Oh, we could have, but we could, then we could we have had a slushy. That That's that. Anyway, it's not slushy; it's a slurpy, isn't it? Same thing in my world. Okay, okay. Now this looks very similar to our first mm -hmm. graph, guys. Our first it's graph, a it, it's, it's a, a straight line. Right. I'm going to put what our first graph looked like up here as well, Mr. Uh -huh. Spencer, so we can kind of compare a little bit. I think I put one in the wrong spot. Yep. Forget that one. So this is our first. That was one. the first one. That's our first one. So what's the difference between the two? They, so they're both straight lines. They're both straight lines. So that the, means they're both constant. Uh-huh. This one is, the, the first one was was going up. The second graph is going down. down. So I, at least when I see this, I think. The first one is going up, which means it's going away from the origin. Yep. The second one means you're walking towards the so origin because you're, you're getting closer so and closer zero. to zero. Okay. So another way that I look at this is I, I think about that slope, and remember the slope is the is the speed of it. Mm -hmm. This one has instead of going up, it comes down. It comes down. So, so we're gonna have a negative a negative two rise. So my slope here is negative two. Uh huh. And it's still just every one, one second. second. So my 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 slope is negative two, or my speed uh -huh. is negative two meters per second. Two meters per second. And you could get some people that would start arguing about like um, speed versus velocity. We're not going to worry about that, that right, right now. now. Just know that it's negative. And it's not that they're going, it's not we that they're that running the backwards. <laughs> it's not that we're running backwards. It's or downhill. No, it's they're going towards the fixed reference point of yeah, the origin. They're, they're having a negative displacement. So that means it's gonna have a negative speed. All right, let's take a look at what we got next. Oh, okay. <laughs> so this is where we have a few things going on. So I, if I was doing this, I would break this up into chunks. Okay. And if I'm looking at this, I've got, I, I think we've got two chunks. We've got the, the chunk that's right up here. And then we and have then, this part down here. So let's, let's take a look at this. So if we are looking at the first chunk, all right, the horizontal line. We have to think about what is what's going on there. Well, what is it that we're seeing? Well, if we remember what we were doing on our previous set, if something was just a horizontal line, that didn't mean it was running flat. Mm -hmm. It just meant it was staying still. It wasn't really moving anywhere. So this means this is. Stopped. It stopped. It's not mm -hmm. or what? Not. Not moving. Moving. So, and then the other thing that we could. Oh, I do yeah. have one thing okay. we need to point out, guys. When you're paying attention to these graphs, because when we get to a quiz, you need to pay attention to what we have down here at the bottom mm -hmm. and this yep. part over here, because that's talking about position. 
later on we're gonna be talking about something different so make sure if this says position over here and you have a flat line mm -hmm. that means it is stopped or not moving right if this says something different it means something completely it's different very important so we have to, to make sure your... we're paying attention to yep. that okay so for our second chunk because we're uh -huh. ready for a second chunk now what could we say about this it's a straight line again so we mm -hmm. have a straight line but so that means it's constant speed. Right. So this is moving at a constant speed. speed. Okay, but what else can we say? We need to be a little more descriptive right. about it. The constant speed. Okay. So we've got it. So if we have a constant speed there, then um, and it's going down, then we're moving. We have negative speed. Okay. Um, and it, so it's moving towards the origin. Okay, so that's why we added that. It's not really negative speed, but it's negative towards. Yeah. We're moving towards it, so right. it's negative distance. Right. Because so, we're going towards the origin on that one. Right, so here. Okay, so I see two horizontal lines there. And so we know that horizontal lines are, are telling us that it's, it's not moving, it's stopped. But then in the middle, we have we have that straight line. Okay. So this is going to be a constant speed, right? Mm -hmm. And are we moving towards the origin, you guys? We're moving away from it. Well, we're going. It looks like we're going away from it because mm -hmm. it's getting further away from. Right. Now, how do I know it's getting further away? There's no numbers on here. Well, I mean, but down here at the bottom, you guys, we all should know that that is zero, zero yeah. down there at the bottom. So this is going away from the origin. Yep. I can't spell today. It's okay. It's it's a it's hard sometimes. It is. That's why I teach math. There you go. I appreciate just being there for backup. You know what? Moral support. That's what we got. Okay. Uh oh. Oh. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking. All right, same thing that we've done in the past. Break we got, it up we into got, chunks. We got straight lines, so let's just okay. break it off in chunks. We got four different chunks we need to uh -huh. talk about. Okay, so first, that that first chunk, that's a straight line, so we know that's going constant, but it's really steep. Okay, so if it's really steep, that means that the that the slope is greater. And since the slope tells us what the what the speed is, this is going at a constant fast speed. Or a fast, constant pace. Uh-huh. Okay. And now is it going towards or away? It's going away. So it's starting at the origin, moving away from that, because as time moves on, our position is getting farther and farther. Okay. So okay. If, what about this next spot? What do we got there in green? Well, as from like one second to four seconds, the position's staying the same. So it's just not moving. It's just sitting there taking a rest. As it should, it just ran a long way it's in a just, short period of time. I know. One, like ten me meters in a donut. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> this last one. So for this last one, <laughs> we're gonna go you, red. We've got okay. So we have we have a straight line. So once again, it's going constant. And it's negative, or it's pointed down, so that means it's moving in the negative direction. So pretty much, they stopped chasing the donut. They got it. Yeah, we did. <laughs> and now we're moving back to towards the car. back towards the car. Yep, I had to run away from the the place because I was going to get too many of them. And then you get like a cramp and stop again somewhere. No, I got in the car. You got, and I had and to just... rest. <laughs> okay. Okay, so. I think they're getting it. I think that we break it up into I hope chunks. So. We laughed a little bit on this one. Let's go to the next one. Okay. Okay. You know what? I think they get this. I think they. Hopefully, they get this. I Hopefully, you guys would know that this up here is going to be at a complete stop. Yep. Over here is also at a stop. At a stop sign. Mm -hmm. And then our part here that is going to be a constant. Yeah. Okay. Speed, but and then now. Could I say it's moving at a fast, constant speed? I think so. Because here we're at three. I tried to do my best to do three and four, but it didn't quite work mm -hmm. out. But that is a short time to cover, looks like a four meters. Yeah. So, it's, so it, that would be, we could consider that a fast. It's a pretty steep slope, so I call so it So again, fast. If, if you're dealing with slopes, you guys, and you see a slow 
like a low line mm -hmm. like this, that means you're going to be going at a slower right. pace. If you see something where it's like this, obviously that means we're going we're at a, a fast faster. pace. Yep. I think we're good. I think, I think so. All right, guys. There you go. All right. Let us know if you have any questions.